Welcome to our review on Making Salts 1. First thing we need to do then is cast your mind back to when you were much shorter and you were back in year 7. And what we looked at there was the pH scale. So what we've got are those three different types of chemical. We've got acids, we've got alkalis, and we've got neutral solutions. So acids, if you remember, are pH 1 to 6. And if we add universal indicator, the colours are red, is orange, yellows, and so on. Our neutral is pH 7, and that's got that green colour. And then our alkali is 8 to 14, and it's got the blues and the purples. Now, in terms of what determines the pH, then what we're actually looking at there is the concentration of hydrogen ions. So the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the more strongly acidic the solution is, which means it's got a lower pH. In order to determine whether a substance is an acid or an alkali, what we need to do is use something called an indicator. Now, an indicator is just a substance that's going to change colour depending on what solution we put it in. One example is litmus, and litmus will go red in acids and blue in alkalis. Now, one thing that litmus can't do, though, is tell us how strong the acid or the alkali actually is. It just simply says, yep, this is an acid, or nope, it's an alkaline. That's it. One thing we can use that will give us a much clearer indication of this is universal indicator. So universal indicator is better than litmus because it can show us how acidic or alkaline the substance is because we get that range of different colours that allows us to then associate that with a particular pH. Obviously that does still involve trying to match colours and if you've used universal indicator you know it's not always easy. So a far more accurate measurement of pH could be made by using a pH meter. Again, if you cast your minds back to year seven, then I'm sure you remember looking at neutralization. So what we find is if we react an acid and a base together, we will make a neutral salt and water. When we're talking about this phrase base, then this is quite simply a substance that can neutralize an acid. So what we find is that if that base is soluble in water, it's an alkali. So that's probably what you were taught all the way back in year seven is acid plus alkali makes the salt and water. Just add in that little bit more knowledge from your GCSE to use the phrase base. If we consider what's happening in terms of the ions then, our acid solutions contain hydrogen ions. The alkaline solutions contain hydroxide or OH minus ions. Now, when we've got hydroxide and hydrogen ions together, they will react to form water. So you've got your H plus, plus the OH minus, and that is going to combine to give us H2O, which is our water. 